So, um, gonna give you my thoughts on work about England against Colombia. There is, I think, quite a few things to talk about. But first of all, yes, I am not wearing a World Cup, a T, a World Cup jersey or a jersey of a team at the World Cup. Should I say no? Yes, it's an American jersey, but look at the date. If you're outside of America, 4th of July, that's another reason to have national team jerseys. Wear them on their national day. Um, if France should qualify for the third place game, I'm not sure if I will wear a French jersey, but maybe I just should do that. Um, who knows? That's the 14th of July. I realized yesterday that France actually might play and win something. Um, yes. Colombia versus England. It was interesting to say the least, uh, but not beautiful to watch in any way. But if you like emotion, uh, it was there in spades. Um, I was hoping it will be a match that will be nice to watch because we had a very entertaining team in Colombia and also one that um, did quite well in the group stage. I mean, Belgium, you cannot really say much because they played with second string teams. Uh, so I don't want to pass too much judgment on that one. And I think yesterday we saw that this England squad is actually a quite decent one. But let's start at the beginning. I, I think the game needed a while to get rolling, but it was from the beginning. It was a lively game but not one with many scoring chances. It was more in midfield because both defenses were solid. And I think uh, it was in the 16th minute when Kane had uh, had a header in a very, very difficult position. Um, that was his second missed shot, so to say. But that was a really, really hard one. Uh, other than that, there was not much going on in this game. Uh, of note in terms of chances, but what you could see that it got a little bit more and more heated. Um, it did not get ugly, but it really, uh, at first, but I think the emotions really ran high when there was this free kick uh, coming around the 40th minute when the Colombians had the wall, the English wanted to kind of push a little bit into the wall, and then there was this uh, headbutt to the chest which was reviewed, given a yellow card, some say it should have been a red. I think I was okay with it being a yellow. Um, but on the other side, if there was a red card, all the hatred that was coming probably would have um, not ensued. But that's a hard, hard thing to say. I think it was also the kind of match that a red card could have totally destroyed. When it, it, it was already not uh, fl uh, that fluid of a game. But yeah, uh, that was the first real scene of note and you could see how tempers flared up at that moment. And I blame the referee, an American referee to boot. Uh, he lost completely control of the... He, sh uh, he should have at first um, put his authority right there on the line, uh, but he didn't. Uh, he refrained from punishing at first and or really asserting himself and that I think did not uh, work in favor of the game so we are again at the merge merging situation um, so that was the first one then um, yeah Colombia got a poor shot on goal right before halftime and yeah Again, it was a lively game. I didn't thought it was not remarkable, but I felt it was lively. It was a little bit more open than, let's say, the Switzerland Sweden game or Russia Spain. It was uh, more open, was more movement. You could see that Colombia is more skillful, but you could also see that England works well as a team. Uh, and that whenever there was a corner kick, this is something I actually admire. You could see they have a plan, they have uh, tested a few things, they have a few um, options. They're all lining up, huddled together uh, at the edge of the box, and then they, they run different routes. Um, I found this super interesting because this is so uh, un-English in a way that they actually, at least uh, from a soccer point, maybe it is English uh, in the way of uh, preparing uh, yourself, but um, this was the first time that I saw an English soccer team actually with a real plan. 
uh, at least for a long time. I, and they were trying to do a few things. And yeah, it always looks the same. Uh, uh, correct. There are four players lined up right behind each other, and then they run the different routes. And of course, this makes the Colombians nervous because they know there's something coming that they cannot control. Um, second half. Boy, did it get ugly quick. Uh, and again, I blame the referee, but the ugliness came a lot from the nerves on the Colombian side. And I gotta say, I started out this game slightly in the corner of Colombia. Um, but their behavior really put me, pulled me the other way. Uh, I, I think the latest, early in the second half, uh, around the time when the penalty was given for England, I got into the. Uh, I left Colombia and I jumped on the England ship because I could not stand. I really could not stand. The referee gives a penalty, and I'm sorry, this was a clear penalty. Uh, this was not a botched call. Yes, there was contact from uh, before, but if the Colombian, the way the Colombian defender kind of pulls Kane up, pushes, and, and so on, uh, this was wrestling in, uh, in its purest kind, in a way. So uh, I thought this was, personally, I felt there was nothing to uh, argue about. And then in addition, um, the referee had plain view. It was in the sight of the referee, right there in front of, in front of him. You can see in the, one of the reviews uh, that he's first looking at the action uh, towards to the center, but then he sees how Kane, and I think it was Sanchez, um, move right in front of him and Sanchez basically pushes and uh, pulls Kane to the ground. It was a clear penalty. And then to argue for what felt like an eternity, I think it truly was three or four minutes, uh, on how this is an injustice and he should look at the video. This is the other thing. Uh, this is a judgment call. Don't the players get it? You don't review every little thing. This was a judgment call that the referee made. They're not going to review that. And the referee made the judgment call and got to accept it. I understand. Tempers go high. I really get it. I really get it. I, I actually did something I love about Southern teams. But this was a case where um, just let it go. You basically destroy yourself that way. And it is totally, uh, totally, totally, totally unnecessary. Uh, especially for such such a clear cut. I'm sure that um, Sanchez thought that he did not do this on purpose and uh, he did not do push much, but the way he went in there, it was a penalty. And I'm tired, 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 tired of this arguing. And when the referee spoke, he said he spoke his fine, but they were still coming, they were still coming. And uh, the only one that had a business of getting there was Falcao, he's the captain. The, the other players should not even be there. And I actually thought there, after he, have, he has given Falcao the yellow card, and I think another player also, but I'm not sure. There were a, a, lot, a lot of yellow cards that I completely lost track of. But uh, at that moment, you should have given a yellow and even sent someone off. Uh, I think there you have to just put your authority there. I, I know, you already lost the game. You already have lost control over the players. And yellow cards don't do it anymore. I'm sorry, this was a situation that was completely out of control. And I also think that uh, there should have come some help. Um, I don't know the etiquette, but I felt that the linesman should have gotten there. Look at hockey. When there's a fight, it's not only the referee separating them. There's a second referee there, separates them. There's a, there are linesmen there. They're all helping out. Yeah, I don't get this. This was really a serious situation that angered me a lot. And I can understand some frustration, but you gotta let it go at this point. Um, if it was an addition, uh, gamesmanship to kind of throw Kane off, uh, even the worse for it. I understand some gamesmanship. I'm fine if the goalkeeper tries to throw off the player, but I'm not fine if the whole team tries to um, rile the player up in a way. And then you saw, uh, you, you saw an addition, there were always two or three players discussing with, with the referee and two others tried to get to Kane, take the ball from him. And this was uh, very, very unsportsmanlike and it really angered me and really put me in the England corner.
Um, and again, I started out having a little bit more, uh, well, a little bit more in favor of Colombia, but take into account that I actually really start to like this England team. I really do. Uh, to the point where, yes, I'm, I am considering an England jersey. Um, I'd rather have the one, the new one, but given that, yeah, at the moment you don't get them at a discount or whatever, I'd rather, I'm probably looking for an old one. We have to see. But that's how I feel about it. Uh, I was more, I'm actually more thinking into getting at the moment an England jersey than a Colombia jersey. Both I don't, I don't have any of these nations. Just to, so this was for me uh, a turning point for me for a person watching the game. The penalty was converted quite well. Um, yeah, you could see there were nerves on Kane's side. Uh, he chose the safe variation uh, right in the uh, right, right in center, but high enough that the goalkeeper can, cannot get to it. So he still had quite good control of the ball. And you could also tell, and the latest at the penalty shootout, England was practicing penalties like crazy. And for once, this is a really good thing. Now, the next 10 minutes, it was play foul, play foul, play foul, play foul, and uh, all the Colombians got one yellow card after another, and then there were a lot of those hidden fouls, and yeah, I think there was one by an English player where he tried to, I want to say it was Walker, but I'm not sure, uh, who tried to get out, um, he was in a scuffle with the Colombian player, got out of course, he touches him a little bit on the head, but there was barely a touch, a Colombian player embellishes a little bit on it. But those are the kinds of things that happen all the time. But since the um, frustrations were already high, this just led to explosion after explosion after explosion. But at least I think with about 50 minutes to go, you had the feeling that uh, tempers were a little bit more settled. The game didn't get uh, more pretty. And yeah, I actually thought that at the way the tempers flared up at halftime, I had the feeling that Southgate probably told the, his players, keep your cool, because they really, really tried their best to not get uh, aggravated too much. Uh, that was another thing. I, you can see they got a little bit riled up, but they really held back as best as they could and tried to focus on the task at hand. At least that's the feeling that I had. And then there was the big glaring mistake by the referee. Again, a judgment call, that's why it's not going to get reviewed. But there should have been a second penalty for England. Uh, botched call, absolutely botched call. And that was the point then when the things turned for Colombia. I think Colombia saw, wow, we got away with one here. And now let's pu uh, we can pull ourselves again. And then there was uh, by Henderson. Uh, horrible mishandling and Colombia suddenly had a 3 on 1, 3 on 2 that should have been a goal and Cuadrado just sent it somewhere off the goal but uh, I think it could have been played better and Colombia probably should have made the equalizer there. Um, Colombia then finally, finally we saw Colombia playing, they finally got their act together and yeah uh, Never really, I think there was one more big chance and then stoppage time, it seemed like England has this game done and dusted. There was this huge save by Pickford that led to a corner kick and I didn't think that anything is going to come from this corner kick because uh, yeah, the goalkeeper was out. I actually saw that now England has, ha has a chance to really wrap, wrap it up. <laughs> I was ready for it for this game to be over. I honestly didn't want to see much more. Um, yeah, but we got more. Corner kick comes in and Mina, the tallest man, has it right at uh, Trippier, the smallest man who just cannot save it from that point. Uh, and I actually thought that he wanted to pull, the way he was moving, he tried to get it over the bar. Uh, but it was a header, um, bounced right in front of him and that's uh, always hard to defend. Uh, I think if I would try to head it out, maybe, but yeah, I was dejected, honestly, because after that great save, I thought England got it, and then yeah, they got the equalizer, and uh, funnily enough, Mina sort of injured himself uh, during the, ce uh, the celebrations, and this is not schadenfreude now on my part, uh, this is really oddly enough. Uh, 
he did he was playing hard and then on um, such a uh, uh, when you celebrate and in, in, in yourself it seems stupid and yeah this was a big momentum swing in favor of Colombia they got off the hook and the other thing I thought now all the time the five minutes that, that we got in, in addition it was not deep into stoppage time it was I think uh, 93rd minute 90 plus 3 it wasn't deep into stoppage time but I thought all this arguing that was around the penalty the referee had to add on at the end and this is the thing that does not work uh, for me because this added on time is in Colombia's favor this is time that they wasted and they get back um, I had this thought at the moment it happened that this is a, a case where I don't don't think it's fair this arguing time at the penalty this should actually count it should re uh, if it's if this is still the deciding difference between the two teams this should not count as stoppage time I strongly feel about that because this is time that Colombia got in addition that I think they didn't deserve Colombia had the upper hand they had a broad on Bucca and so on and yeah England kind of needed to um, collect itself so first half seemed all to go towards the right um, it was all attacking place uh, on the England side I think England barely could get a hold of the game second half the complete opposite picture right from the kickoff I think England had kickoff England tried to go for a goal and they really went for it and there were uh, chances uh, for England I think one that was barely missed uh, yeah England tried to go for it and suddenly Colombia was on, on the back foot but I with three minutes to go or so yeah it was penalties and yeah I already saw I won't be able to make a video because I want to straight go to bed after the, that one. it was a long day and yeah uh, at the moment not too easy days uh, at home let's put it that way uh, with our little one being sick so yeah and then a penalty shooter that's a story in, in itself and this video is getting long it's longer than I intended to be but sorry uh, just a lot of emotions in there and I, I really think we can talk a lot about uh, here uh, yeah penalty shootout it was said before that England was practicing and you could tell this the first four penalties were all picture perfect not said uh, the th first third by Colombia was the first one that was not that great but yeah it was it was uh, safe because the goalkeeper dived the wrong way and then Henderson has his kick saved and at that moment I'm throwing my hands up in the air I'm sorry England I know you go second this was already not in your favor although this World Cup two penalty shooters the team going second has won a little bit against the statistics but you know probabilities that's how they go streaks can happen uh, and I knew yeah with that save I'm sorry Colombia looked quite good and the fourth Colombia kick and uh, that was for me uh, I knew that they needed a momentum swing a big momentum swing and it came right on the next kick and this was the this was the place where you needed it if uh, Colombia would have converted that one England does not win and the penalty was kicked I like the idea that you have to kick it high uh, it hit the crossbar uh, it, it's just too bad but it was this was really the point where England needed something and they got it they, they got the lucky break and by shooting the uh, penalty onto the crossbar that was the break you needed so uh, so Colombia misses its fourth penalty and then it was really 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 important that England equalizes and so they did and I think at that moment while Colombia still was a little bit ahead uh, you know having the advantage by shooting first but that's a moment where you already know you gotta make this penalty if you miss here um, chances are you're going out and you could see that on Bakka's face and yes he went and that's another thing that I see very often now that uh, that a lot of penalty takers go for the center they don't even pick a side they're that uh, inerved they go for the center 
Um, Bakal did not go exactly for the center. I think it was a little bit to his left, but that uh, allowed Pickford to make a save with his hand, which was a great save. Uh, make no mistake about it. This was a really, really great save on his his part. This was not a uh, necessarily a bad penalty by Bakka, but the save was a little bit in the goalie's favor, favor, favor. But it was a great save overall. And yeah, then um, I think it uh, who, who, who covered it now. The it was Kieran Daya. It was it was not. Uh, Making the winning penalty is an easier task than making one uh, where you know you have to make it. Uh, yes, you have to make it, but if you miss it, there are still some penalties going on. And yeah, he made a beautiful penalty in England, won for the first time at the World Cup uh, penalty shootout. Um, they won their second one. They won one against Spain in '96 on home soil, uh, which people seemingly seem to forget. I think there should be a video made about the England penalty shootout history because I thought yesterday England at one point was 1-1 in penalty shootout before it became a trauma and I this was really at the time the first penalty shootout of England that was the second penalty, or second penalty shootout I think I ever saw and yeah I was right there and to see it uh, I can maybe tell about something uh, I ran out of storage right at the end. So what I wanted to say, England won this penalty shootout and yeah, I was happy to see that, to be honest. Um, we can always talk a lot about penalty shootouts. England won one and I was happy. Now last thing, jer jersey matchup. Uh, as expected, I really don't like the white pants with Colombia and the all red for England also doesn't seem right. I think if it was have been the matchup that we saw earlier between Sweden and Switzerland, I would have liked it much better. So it was a so and so. It was as expected. Um, jersey matchup is okay. Uh, the pants were a little bit off and I don't like that England has these ghosted out crests on their pants. Well. We're down to eight. Let me know what you thought about this game, jersey matchup and everything. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.